I'm Mary Daly, candidate for District 4, Clay County Commission. So what are the most important issues in your race? I think right now the most important issues facing the race are, of course, dealing with the opioid and mental health crisis because it is growing, which I see every day as a teacher. Also, um, developing environmentally and fiscally responsible and stable permanent flood protection I think is very important, as well as uh, working a budget that is well planned, that uh, can be sustained through times of prosperity, as well as, uh, or as in econo economists are indicating at this point, possible recession coming our way, something sustainable. And also, I think another issue would be being transparent, talking directly to residents, and uh, instead of just distributing campaign materials every four years or something, really getting involved and to know them and genuinely listening to what their needs and concerns are. Okay. Um, how would you address these issues? Well, in regard to the mental health issue, I don't just read about it or attend seminars. I actually work with it every day. I am a seventh grade teacher at a public school in the area. And I know that Clay County has got some excellent resources available. And uh, I would really like to see these working a little more collaboratively so we can avoid duplication and also to make sure that our residents have access to the counseling or medications or whatever it is that they need to make them successful. Um, and also working with the medical community to find non-narcotic um, pain medications for both chronic and acute pain issues and treat the addict and incarcerate the dealers. I think that's very important. Um, as far as um, the, the water issue, uh, we, I was very happy to see Diversion Plan B. I think we are getting closer to an acceptable proposal. Um, I think that uh, many of our residents I have found were under the impression that the whole issue of the diversion was gone after the first one was rejected. And I think they've been surprised, but I think that they're feeling a little more comfortable with the idea. I think many were unaware that there are going to be continuing costs. And so for uh, educating the public about that, that yeah, there are, we have operating costs, there are, you know, et cetera, down the road. It's not just a one-time shot. Um, as far as the budget, I have been on the budget work group for five years with the city of Moorhead. I am currently on the Moorhead City Council. And um, I think that it, a lot of times it comes down to tough choices and prioritization to pick out what do you need to do. Number of expenses in the Clay County budget that are being duplicated within departments. Um, and I also saw a few that I thought could be partnered with other entities, other municipalities, and share those responsibilities because they're being duplicated in each one as you know, silos, whereas we could bring it together, not for a centralization, but to share resources. I think that would be good as well. And as far as being transparent, uh, I would like to see um, more community involvement from the county commission. I find it very discouraging how few people really even know who their county commissioners are very discouraging when and then when they find out what exactly the county commission does they're quite surprised at, at what all the county is involved with and so i would like to see the commission more involved more uh, public that type of thing with it what differentiates you from your opponent and why should someone vote for you one of the things that really differentiates me from the opponent is that our current county board really does not come close to reflecting the actual demographics of Clay County residents. And I find that my opponent not known for reaching out to resident, or residents outside of the, his immediate circle. And I take great pride in reaching out and responding to the people who have elected me to represent them. Uh, it doesn't have to be a huge project, something like the 2021 underpass or that type of thing, but um, the huge projects, but something as small as even having a graffitied stop sign removed. Little things like that really make a difference to the residents. It's they, I've listened, followed through, and made some differences. Um, one of our older established neighborhoods had a problem with the idea of having sidewalks put in because they were accustomed to parking their boats and campers and things 
there and had the sidewalk gone in, they wouldn't be able to do that because that would be covering the sidewalk. Uh, another exciting thing that I was part of was opening the toll bridge in North Moorhead. Unbelievable, the traffic now coming from 15th Avenue in Moorhead over to 12th in Fargo. I go the opposite direction every day and I am just amazed. It goes all the way out to 34th Street and beyond as far as the, tra the incoming traffic with that. Uh, another thing that I have just been involved in so many different things, I've been afforded the opportunity to be on the budget work group for five years, working with the city, um, the Oakport Joint Powers, working with the diversion in the initial planning, writing the Joint Powers Agreement. I was one of the co-authors there. The Moorhead Library Board, like Agassiz Library Board, the Northern Lights Library Board, those have been a real joy for me. Uh, the Lakes and Prairies Community Action, that would entail Head Start and many of those type of programs, and Economic Development Authority also. And I think that economic development with Clay County being the fourth uh, largest, fastest growing county in, in the state, um, I think a lot of that growth is right in the city of Moorhead. Exciting things going on there that I've been a part of, such as the First Avenue development and um, obviously the underpass, that's huge. Um, 15th Avenue, those kinds of things. And I work with the people of Clay County in my role as a DGF middle school teacher. I work with them in the city of Moorhead as a city council representative. and. Um, the experience gained throughout my five years on the Moorhead City Council have been priceless, absolutely priceless, and I'm ready to expand that to include the entire 4th District.